Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're looking at a Toyota Highlander Limited in the color white. Let's take a look. Starting up front here, underneath the hood, we have a 3.5 liter V6 engine, automatic transmission, gives us a 295 horsepower, 263 pound foot of torque, and you have towing capacity up to 5,000 pounds. Up front, you've got LED headlights, customer data, running lights, and fog lights down below. And across the front bumper, you'll find these little round nodules. These guys are your front parking sensors. Along to the side here, we have 20 inch alloy wheels. Side mirrors have integrated turn signals and blind spot monitoring, as well as puddle lamps underneath. Then on both of your front handles, you'll find these two double lines. We'll talk about those guys more on the driver's side. Moving back, all your rear windows do come with factory tinting, and up top here we have silver roof rails. Along the back, just like the front, you've got backup parking sensors going the whole way across the bumper. Left hand side, you have your Highlander badge. Right hand side, you have your limited all wheel drive badge. Then underneath the rear logo is your backup camera. To open up the trunk space, you just reach underneath and press the button, and the hatch will raise all the way back up. And then you have the automatic button you can press once again to close it. Through here, you have access to your cargo space as well as to your spare tire. Next, let's take a look at the inside. So inside here, your interior upholstery is the black soft tax leather wrap, and it has black stitching. Down below is where you're able to find the handle adjustments to be able to move your seat around or lay it down flat, either to give an easy walking path to the third row seats or to lay the seats to extend your cargo space forward. There are diagrams on, on them showing you which handle does which action. Then inside you have access to your folding down armrest slash cup holder, which of course can easily be folded away to increase seating capacity. Up overhead, you have a panoramic moonroof inside for everybody to enjoy. Then on the back of your front passenger and front driver's seats, you've got pouch storage. Back of your console space is where you have your third zone air conditioning control panel. So this allows your third and second row occupants to control their own temperature, sp fan, speed, and mode. This also can be controlled from up front, and we'll take a look at that when we get up there. Down below is where you have all of your charger options, and currently we have the Highlander rubber mats installed in this unit. Inside your door, you have plenty of storage space, your power window control. Our first look at the wood grain trim, you'll be able to find more of this all throughout your cab space, as well as having a built-in sun shade. So this guy unhooks, goes all the way upwards, and then locks into place, helping to keep the sun out of everybody's eyes without impeding their view. Just as easily, this can unhook, roll all the way back down, and go completely flush in with your door frame. Now, once again, back to these two double lines. These guys indicate keyless entry, so if you have the key fob on your person, you can tap your hand here or in here to lock or unlock your vehicle. Up front, up top, next to your handle is your memory seat settings. Below that is where you have your side mirror controls. Power window controls for both front and back are here, as well as the window lock and power lock system. You also see this blue hue. This is your interior ambient mood lighting. This will be throughout the vehicle. It's kind of a lot better at nighttime, but it is beautiful at any time of day. Inside, of course, we have electronic seat adjustment, back front, up, down, and lumbar support. Then you have both your hood and gas release latches on the bottom left-hand corner of your dash. On top of that, you have a little storage capacity space. Then you have your automatic headlamps. You have your, your power trunk release, heated leather steering wheel control. Up top is odometer trip and your dash brightness. Steering wheel is black leather with black stitching. Then left-hand side controls there are for the dash display. You have your hands-free communication and volume control. Right-hand side, radio controls on the bottom, adaptive cruise control up top, which includes both sonar and lane departure. In the middle here is your infotainment display screen. This is where you go to access much of the information about your daily driving experience. Currently, you're looking at the customizable menu screen. Under that is the menu itself. So in here is your destination, audio phone, app, projection, info, display, and setup. Inside your setup is all your specifics. Everything from Bluetooth, audio phone, ensuite apps, clock language, theme color settings, etc. Under that is audio listening, AM, FM, and satellite radio, full Bluetooth connectivity, and optional uh, USB adapters throughout the unit. All the way at the bottom is built-in navigation, fully touch-sensitive for ease of use. All along the right-hand side is all of your radio controls, tune scroll on the bottom right, volume control on the bottom left, and then underneath there is the climate control center. We have dual climate control up front here. Currently it is on sync, which means that both sides will work together in unison. As you can see, you have the controls for the rear climate through here as well. And you can have lots of different sync arrangements, either for allowing the 
front to be synced up, the back to be synced up to the front for all three sections to work independently. There's lots of different options to make sure everybody's comfortable at all times. To the left is your defrost for front and rear windshield as well as side mirrors, and this is the defrost for your rear windshield wiper blade, really useful here in cold Canadian winters. On the left hand side we have three front levels for both heated and cooled seats. It's the orange for the heat and the green for the cool for both driver and front passenger. Four ways in the middle, push start ignition to the left, then you have this nice storage space that goes all the way across the front. Has a little divider in the middle there, making sure that if you place something on one end and then hit a corner, it's not going to go flying all the way to the other end out of your reach. Underneath this is where you have a little storage space, and you'll also notice up top here that there is this little plastic plate. This allows you to feed your cores down through here to be able to access all of your charger options. So if you want to, you can feed your chargers up through here and then leave your phone up top. It'll be nice and secure. It has this built-in tray design, and you still have lots of extra space down below and all throughout. Behind that is your cup holder spaces, more of this wood grain trim through here. You have your gear shift driving mode, so sport, normal, and eco. Then you have your terrain controls, mud and sand to rock and dirt, traction control, snow, downhill assist, automatic start stop, and your parking brakes. Behind there is the console. Top part slides open. Up top we have a wireless charging pad compatible with all wireless charging devices. Nice thing is you'll notice it has this little built-in tray design. This ensures that when you have your phone in there it's not going to go flying out of there when you're actually out on the road. And there's even on the side, it's a little bit hard to see, but if you look right here there is actually a little power button. This means that if you don't want to be using this for the power adapter option, you can just turn it off and use it as normal storage. Underneath this, you have a little moving tray inside, and then further down you have more storage. You even have a little 12 volt adapter inside of there. On the right hand side, below the storage, you've got a lockable glove box. Up overhead on your rear view mirror, one, two, and three dots, those guys are garage door openers. Then you have your sunglasses compartment, SOS button, overhead lighting controls, and controls there for the panoramic mirror. Thanks again folks for joining us on this lovely tour for this Toyota Highlander Limited in the color white. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Automa Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703 and remember, life is full of choices. Let us be yours.